Displays in the Sprinkler platform allow you to transform your data into high impact insight driven experiences. In this video, you'll learn how to create these using storyboards, displays, remotes, and much more. You can access displays from the visualization section here in Sprinkler Social. In the following window, you'll see three tabs. First, you'll see the storyboard section, where you can design your displays by choosing which data you'd like to see and how you'd like it to be styled. In the displays tab, you choose how exactly the storyboards will be seen in the real world. You can set up options for in-office displays all the way up to digital billboards in Times Square. Then the final tab is where you can remotely control the storyboards and scenes that are shown on those displays. So let's see how it works. Back in the first tab, you can see all of your existing storyboards and at the top, you can click here to create a new one. You'll first need to choose a name and then pick a style kit as the basis for your design. Style kits are sets of cohesive styling options, including things like colors and fonts. You have several to choose from and you can always adjust the look as needed in the future. Then you need to set the screen layout option from the options provided. And if you can't find one that suits, you can add custom layouts at the bottom here. But for now, let's pick this one and click confirm. The next screen is where the bulk of your work takes place. In the center, you will see the canvas to design your displays. Along the bottom, you will find your scenes and on the right is a toolbar for styling, data controls, and more. Click the plus icon on one of the screens to open the template library. And from here, you can choose a starting point. Along the top, you can choose between charts, content, alerts, and other templates. Once you've added your first widget, you can move and resize it like this. And by clicking here, you have access to all of the widget design tools. You can change the color, switch the font, and make many more widget specific adjustments as you like. By clicking here, you can add new widgets from the categories we saw before. And on the right, you can see the layout options available per widget. Here, you can arrange your widgets with pixel precision. And by deselecting the widget, you'll see the layout options for the whole screen. Once you're happy, click save and head back to the main storyboard editor. You can continue to add screens here and new scenes along the bottom of the page. Having multiple scenes will allow your board to rotate through different views over time. So once you've built out your storyboard, you can move onto the displays tab where you'll see any existing displays and at the top, an option to create a new one. So once again, first choose a name, then pick the display type and set the configuration to match your design. Once you've added the display, you'll then need to add your storyboard like this. From this section on the right, you have the option to add more storyboards and schedule them so you can show different boards at different times. And just below that, you'll see the all important URLs for this display. You'll need to input these into the physical display itself to have your work appear in all its glory. By clicking here, you can access further settings and controls, such as adding security measures, enabling event mode, and much more. Lastly, once your display is set up, let's look at the remote functionality by clicking this link here. From the following page, you can control what is being shown on your display remotely by using these buttons at the bottom of the page. This functionality is also available to you via mobile or tablet, giving you the ability to control your displays and drill down into the data right at your fingertips. If you'd like further information on displays, you can check out the knowledge portal. To find it, head to sprinkler.com forward slash help. And from here, you can use the search bar to find the information you're looking for. In this video, you've learned how to create new storyboards and displays in the Sprinkler platform. Thanks for watching.